<laughs> okay. I don't know if I start recording or not. So I don't know any of those features, but we're going to figure it out. Yeah, okay. So, all right. So what I did was um, there was an icon to the side that said start recording. Oh, yep, I'm recording. We yeah, so it, it says it up here in my corner that you're recording the call. All right, cool. Okay, so how's it going, people of YouTube, Facebook, or however you might be tuning in today? Welcome to a, another segment of Matt's World Podcast. Today I am coming to you semi live. I've got uh, my good buddy uh, Mike Rents on. Uh, I guess we got another guest with us too, don't we? Yeah, he's over there. <laughs> this is going so well, Matt. <laughs> oh, goodness. Nothing like the first time. All right, I'm going to turn my GoPro on here. Let's uh, put that on too. All right, so, so for those of you at home, grab yourself a beer, and we're gonna get going. All right, so make sure you edit that part out. So, Mike, so Mike, how are you doing? Now? Great, great, fantastic. You can hear the, you can hear Eddie, can't you? Yeah. I got um, you know, bad life at it, at its best. Okay. Uh, also, I'm not speaking too loudly here. I don't want to upset him. You're all right. Oh, uh, Mike, uh, a new dad. Yeah, it's great. Uh, you know, uh, I'm new. <laughs> That's about it. I ain't got nothing else to really talk about. I don't know. What's that? Sounds that. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, I don't know, very needy. Eddie's very needy. He's very needy? Yeah, it's constant. It's like it takes over your entire world, you know. Uh, you think you have enough time to just go to the fridge or, you know, do what you want. No, it's his time all the time. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Fun stuff, though. Yeah. Um, I don't even know um, where to start. He's just every day. Take it, take it as you can every day. That's about all I can say. <laughs> well, good advice, uh, there, Goofy. Yeah. Sorry, Mike. Oh, uh, I guess I'll tell you. We uh, go back in college. We used to call him Goofy. Yeah. That, that was that was uh, uh, eight eight years ago, maybe nine years ago that I graduated. So it's been a while. Absolutely, best seven years of our lives. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, man. just just so great. <laughs> you remember a whole lot of it, right? You know. Yeah. Uh, do you yeah. want to tell them, or should we uh, tell them how we met? Let me see if I remember. Uh, you were in broadcasting class. I wasn't broadcasting. And you were with Adam Schmidt, and you came over. To a party once, right? Because you just wanted to get out of the uh, the dorms, right? Didn't you? Yeah, right. Oh yeah, yeah. Mr. Adam, uh, we used to call him Flounder. Yeah, oh, and then a minute, but go on. Yeah, and you were a party animal, man. I tell you what, <laughs> I was a party animal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shoot. Uh oh. Uh, but anyway, so, so yeah, we were in a fraternity together. Yeah. Sorry. Living at life at home. Uh, 
Yeah, um, that's fun. Yeah, we were uh, we were in uh, TKE together. Um, I faintly remember you uh, back in school. I, well, I guess yeah. uh, a couple of years. You just you just kind of showed up one day. Yeah, it's hard to remember the exact time that we connected. Because I joined in 2008, and I think you were like a year, year and a half later. Well, I originally tried to join 2008. Yeah. But, you know, some things came up, so I couldn't join until, yeah, you're right, a year later. Something like that. You got something to clean him with? Sorry, my, uh, <laughs> my, my son's leaking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My son is like, who the hell words are like that? <laughs> well, it's, you know, he's, he's drooling, leaking, you know? Okay, good. You know? At least it's, it's that kind of leaking and not the other kind. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. You just, I know it's hard to, near. Yeah, let me, let me whip the sucker around. Oh, hey, Eddie. How's it going? Do you like Man's World? Do you like it? Yeah. Uh, oh, clearly, he's only three three months old. How are you doing? Hey. Want to go fishing? You yeah. your man One day. Fishing. One day we will. One day. One day. Yeah, so he, he's just chilling. So yeah, like I juggle a lot of things, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's the tough part, I guess, about being a dad is just you know, ever ever changing. Ever changing, absolutely. Well, you know, he needs this. He needs that. You'd be wanting to watch a TV show, or you know, go fishing, or look at the moon, or something. And, you're busy. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. You're not really selling me on this father thing. You're saying I can't fish. Well, you, you know, well, I mean, you can go fishing. You just, uh, you know, it's you'd have to take them with you everywhere you go. Well, that's what my parents did. I went on a fishing trip the month I was after I was born. Holy shit! I'm not even kidding. <laughs> you were born on the lake. I mean, you know, a month after. Holy cow! So well, yeah, I, mean, I was born in June second. My parents yeah. went up to Hayward for the Fourth of July that year with me. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That was a trip. I turned out fine though. You, you, oh yeah, I can clearly tell that. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious, this is like a giggle and cackle and snort fest. Oh, well, boy. um. Okay, so. So well, let's see. I guess. Um, oh, um, I don't know. You want to talk about your wedding? My wedding. Yeah, that was a. Oh, that was a blur. Definitely. <laughs> I remember it. <laughs> um, I remember um, running around a lot. So, uh, you know, a lot of people enjoy weddings. When you run a wedding, or when you're the host, or the man in the, the hour, the victim, you really. The main victim. The main victim. Yeah, the main, the main victim. Yeah, yeah. Or when you're at the head table and somebody's screaming on the far side like Mac Yerloff would. Yeah, that was kind of fun. I, <laughs> remember, I forget what you said. When um, do I scream? I can't remember what you said, but you said something. And, and the whole table, you guys were like either one of the first ones or the last ones to eat or something. Or, or you guys were close. Did I put – no, I put you guys furthest from the bar, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that was Donna. That was so her. Not me at all. Hey, it was free. You didn't have to pay oh. anything. I I paid everything. I didn't realize there was a baby in the room. I shouldn't cuss anymore. He can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's a good time. You know, um, the hard part about it is coming up with money and your budget and. Making it all work. 
because there's a, I mean, to be honest with you, there's a lot of different places that'll eat you up with the amount of money that you pay. And you really need to shop around to the best, to your budget. And don't settle on just one place. Actually go out and find and research. You know, that's the biggest thing I would take away from a wedding. Oh, okay. You know, like, you want a simple wedding? You want to, you know, on the end of a pier or something or... You know, by the water, it'd probably be easier. But if you want a big grand wedding, you're going to pay it like thousands of dollars for a venue, and you got to find a place that's cheap or free or at a local park. You know, those are the places you want to find that are cheaper. You know, do your research, find something that you want. For the both of you, sorry. My oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I would. That's what I'd recommend. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I, I had a blast at your wedding. I mean, um, let's see. Yeah, I, I remember what I said, actually. Uh, someone was naming off um, states that everyone was from. And I'm like, Wisconsin! <laughs> yeah, you were you were drunk, for sure. Well, yeah, I was drinking oh. since like 11 that morning. <laughs> I was an 18th store drunk. That's funny. Oh, that's, that's, that's what yeah. you yeah. That's a yeah, story. it was it was good to rekindle with some old, old folks. That was fun. And then, uh, as of course, you know our tradition, um, we make um, we make this guy uh, named Tiny Dancer sit in the booster sets. Yeah. At our table. So yeah, anyway, that was probably got, the best time. We got this. Um, there's a short guy that's in the fraternity. His name's Evan. We call him Tiny Dancer. Yeah, yeah he's awesome. And uh, yeah, what well, we. Every wedding, I swear, we make them sit in this booster seat. Everyone just cracks up. We got some video footage of that. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. A great attitude towards it, too. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. So you, don't, so you don't remember anything in the actual wedding itself, right? Well, so like... <sighs> During the ceremony, you know, we, we had a short ceremony. You know, you can have a long ceremony or short. It just depends on who you are. But, you know, everybody kind of funnels in, and then you kind of take photos of the wedding. And then, you know, everybody's kind of happy, uh, cocktail hour, happy hour. And then immediately follows all of our photos. You know, you got to do this and this and this. And then we enter in the venue, and then immediately following, they want us to cut the cake. They, everybody gets the food. Everybody's eating. Meanwhile, I got to sit there and pay attention to speeches, and I need photo opportunities with this person. And this person, next thing you know, there's a first dance. And I got to dance with my mother. That, that, that must be how musky feels like. Everyone you know, wants to it's so them. busy. It's so busy. Yeah, you got you to have the right lure for that, though. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, you can't just fish with like a worm. You know, you got to have like topwater bait or something, right? Or, or what do you what, what, what do you fish with? You know. You don't fish with topwater bait, do you? Um, not recently, no. <laughs> no? Well, see, then that may be why you're not catching the muskies. <laughs> are we talking yeah. about fishing or are we talking about my, um, my single wife here? Oh, you're a single wife? Oh, well, uh, hmm. You know? We, um, we had your bachelor party at your place. Yeah, that I don't remember very much of either. <laughs> That was a good time. How could you? I've had two, party? three bachelor. Did I have three? Two bachelor parties. I don't remember. Bachelor parties. Yeah, it's crazy time. Let's not. Let him, don't remind me of that. That was uh, it was interesting. Gee, what happened at the other one? I don't want to know. And why was don't want to know. that? Can't be public. That's for sure. Oh Jesus. No way. Okay. <laughs> she's right here anyway, so she's uh it's a uh, very select five people max no. Anyways, no big deal. I'm still alive. Good. <laughs> I need I need another brewski though. I'm uh, kinda empty. Well, well Donna, is she gonna have to sleep on the couch tonight? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, but she is. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 
you know what? You know what this is? This is revenge for the time you threw a pie at my face. Why don't we tell our audience? That was this? a good time. Hey, that, that's on YouTube, by the way. Oh, yes. Uh, check out Mike's channel. I will link it in the description. Why don't you do it, Yeah, that was a good time. Uh, yeah, we uh, threw a pie in your face, and you went and marched home fast to everybody else. It was so much fun. <laughs> That was at what the uh, um, the rate they had. Uh, it was pie in the face something. I can't. No, remember. no, big wheels was the name of it. Well, well I knew the big wheel. I'm Italian answer is the only one that could fit on a big wheel. So, but yeah, I can't remember. I think we paid like three bucks or something, or a dollar a pie. I don't remember. And you come walking up and bam, right in the face. We're like, all right, you had enough and went home. It was awesome. <laughs> Carl was there too, I think. Carl was just, I don't think I threw it in your face. If I no. remember correctly, I haven't seen the video. Tiny, but it's got a, tiny, tiny dancer. Threw, yeah, he threw it yeah, in your face. Dancer. Mark Seibel was right there. He's a victim. He, not a victim, but he, he was just as much fault as I am. But I just got lucky I filmed it. He was an accomplice. You were the ringleader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I called you over, you know. Let the video be the, the, the judge. I'm running out of alcohol. I'm I'm empty. Uh, I had one and a half so far. What is that? That's brewing a new Glarus. It's a new Glarus glass with line and kugels in it. Yeah, line. I thought you were drinking line and kugels. Have we met? Is it summer shanty? Yeah, summer shanty. Shiver shabby she. It's you twisting my words again. <laughs> Well, um, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, this is like some of my co workers. Well, hey man, would you mind uh, zoning? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> well, what you work in lumber or you work in the uh, there's no, huh? I work in plumbing. Plumbing? I was going to say, there's no fishing department in Menards. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, I was trying to think, what, there was an outdoor? I mean, the whole store is outdoor in a way, you know? Like, it's bizarre, you know? <laughs> Plumbing. Like, really? They, like, is there, a, like, an electrical department? Like, the, Really? I didn't know they had an electrical department there. Well, meaning, like, is there somebody that handles the electrical department? Well, or is yeah. there no electrical? There, no, there's no, all no. kinds of departments there. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, what, what else can we talk about? I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, wait, wait. Let's get past the plumbing, man. Let's let's get somewhere else. Uh, hey, uh, how many lures have you lost uh, this year? Oh, I can actually tell you that. Three. One, two, three. Oh, you can count them on one hand? Yeah. That's surprising. Three lures. Three lures. And we're all, um, I guess we can kind of give a fishing report. Yeah, I've been catching yeah. um, fish on inline spinners. Inline spinners, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. How many tree basses have you caught? You know what a tree bass is, right? <laughs> well, yeah, I ended up having to put waders on and go after one recently. <laughs> yeah, you gotta wade in the water. You know, you you got that fire line on there. You gotta pull the tree down, or you get your lure out. You gotta actually get the canes out and cut the limb. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if you can do that. You you need to get a, a strong magnet and um like. You can actually get your, uh, you can get lures like right off the end of a pier. You know, people drop like all kinds of things right at the end of a pier. You go magnet fishing. That's yeah, a fun like sport. To, I'd like to try that. I've seen some YouTube videos on it. I'd like to give that a shot. That'd be fun. It would be. Yeah. You got to get like a, a 30 or maybe 40, 50 foot rope. You can probably, I don't know how far you can throw those, man. I don't know. I don't know how heavy they are or anything. I bet you I bet you could pull out some cool shit in there, like a bicycle or something. <laughs> oh yeah, and it probably looks like it was on the wreck of the Titanic. <laughs> wreck of the Titanic. Pull out a computer or some sort of safe or something or a filing cabinet. Oh yeah, a computer. Oh look, it works fine. It's been sitting in the lake for like the last twenty years. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Hey look, you're gonna need put zoom on it. <laughs> you're gonna need some sort of scuba gear. Well, here, here's the thing. 
I remember a professor saying that what what makes a good video or a good broadcast a good broadcast is that the um, the audience has changed in some way. I have a feeling we made them dumber. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> oh man, you gotta! I gotta watch this video over. See how stupid I look. Do I look dumb? Okay, get out of the room. <laughs> Why don't we call your father-in-law? Oh, he wouldn't do anything because I'm quarantined in my house. He can't do shit. He can't even come over. <laughs> he yell at me through the window. You know, I remember him. At, I remember meeting him, your father-in-law. Yeah, yeah Don, crazy. yeah. He's funny. He, he looks at me and goes, Why aren't you marrying my daughter? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I remember we're, we we uh, go to uh, that uh, tuxedo place, uh, men's warehouse. Yeah. And you're like, mm, I can't button this up. <laughs> mm, uh, uh, well, what does this button do? And then <laughs> and he's like, asshole. That's you have to leave that one open. <laughs> Hilarious! Oh, I do it on purpose, though, because you gotta have a you gotta have a sense of humor in life. That, that is very true. Well, I uh, want to talk about your um, your army career. Army career? Well, it really wasn't a whole lot. Um, to be honest, everybody has a different experience. So, from one person to another person, they all have different experiences because we all go through life differently. You were grown and born differently than, you know, your brother or sister or, you know, but at the end of the day, everybody comes together at a common bond. We all kind of understand there's a mission and there's a goal and we all have to achieve the same goal and mission at the end of the day. So understanding everybody's strengths and weaknesses is, is a big part of it. And, You'll, you will grow and learn a lot of relationships with people that you will, you know, people from across the globe or, you know, Puerto Rico or, you know, just, just saying, you know, well, I'm, I'm just saying there's, there's just, there's people that I will never meet again or I will never see again, but knowing that we are still striving for the same goal uh, is, is kind of really a powerful thing. You know, the army throws you into a lot of situations you can never prepare for. It's it's a unique thing, and I'm sure that's the same thing for Marines, um, all the branches. And it's it's really um, it's really something to to be a part of. You know that flag behind you there. You know it means more than you'll you will really ever know because unless you actually go through that, you know a lot of people kind of take you know. I guess being a United States citizen for granted, but unless you actually go through and join the army or join Marines or, you know, you've done and you've done it, graduated and you've served your country, you don't really have appreciation for how hard some of these men and women work. And that's the biggest thing I take away from, you know, the army career, you know, there there's ups and downs, there's good days, bad days, but at the end of the day, it's everybody coming together for a common goal and to, you know, serve the American people. Yeah. That's what I would, that's what I would put down. Oh, it's, so uh, that's well put, Mike. Yeah, it's actually a fantastic, if I could do it all over again, I would do it when I was 19, 18, um, not this late in life. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I've met some wonderful people. I've had an amazing time. Um, nothing but relationships and goals and people you will grow and you will be alongside. Um, you know, it, it's hard to understand. It's hard to explain it, but I don't really want to go into too, too other too detail. I, I really like to stay broad because that's kind of how, um, you know, I can't really speak to my own experience necessarily. It, it really meant a lot to me, it meant a lot to my family and meant a lot to, uh, you know, just everything. So, yeah, absolutely. That's what I would put that at. Absolutely. And on, on behalf of all of my uh, viewers and listeners, thank you for your service. 
Goofy, you pick the topic. Pick the topic. Um, am I interviewing you or are you interviewing me? You're interviewing me. This is, has been all about I'm you. Interview. I'm going to interview you. Okay, so I want to know... Um, it's all fair game. I am... What uh, what has been the biggest challenge since graduation that you faced from college? What has been the biggest challenge since graduation that you've, I guess, I guess career wise? I, I think um, my biggest uh, challenge for since uh, graduation has just been trying to um, trying to get a uh, foothold, trying to hit the ground running, trying to uh, get a career started. Yeah. My issue here is um, I don't have a whole lot of experience in the broadcasting industry. I don't have – I only have like three months' worth of experience. I worked at a radio station briefly. Sure. Um, I'm, I'm basically a nobody on YouTube. I'm just starting this new production company. Um. And so, yeah, just, just basically trying to get started, really. I mean, I've been struggling for years. I've been working retail jobs. I've been working for my dad in construction. I've been selling crap on eBay, and that's how I've been making money in between. So now is the time to shine. Now all the viewers and listeners can understand, you know, that you have great passion for this type of going forward. You want to be a YouTuber and create a production company and move forward. You've learned a lot. And I think this is a great stepping stone to um, move forward. Oh yeah. 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 And uh, Mike, you've been uh, my biggest fan. I'm very supportive. <laughs> biggest fan. <Woo! laughs> yes. Do I get like a gold star or something like next to my name? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think in your case you're getting a restraining order. Oh, well, per hey, it's in the mail. <laughs> Actually, we're like several states apart, so there's really no contact. I mean, what? Uh, yeah, twice in like seven years we cross paths close yeah, by. Exactly. <laughs> you need to come to St. Louis. Well, actually, uh, 2008. Uh, you came to my wedding. That was a good time. And then the other time, I think we might have had a bonfire at my parents' place. <laughs> yeah. Any oh, questions? Other questions you want to ask me? Or? Uh, questions? Um, not really. Um, if you were to have one job your entire life, what job would you want to be? If you could have any dream job. I don't know. I would say I would be maybe a fishing guide or I don't know, or maybe a bush pilot. Bush pilot. That'd be cool. You could be like uh, the next Bill Dance, you know? You know what I mean? <laughs> You've seen some of his, his, his bloopers. Yeah, very accident prone. Very accident prone. I think it's on purpose just to get content. Yeah, all right. It's like the Tim Allen of um, fishing. There you go. Tim Allen of fishing. <laughs> it's going to be uh, Matt, Matt's world. Matt Gearloff's world. 2.0. Matt the fisherman. <laughs> Gearloff. Matt the fisherman. Gearlaw, because you know it's Tim the Toolman Taylor. Tim the Toolman Taylor, yeah. So Matt the Fisherman Taylor. Uh, Gearlaw. <laughs> hey, hey, instead of, instead of grunting, I'll be like, oh, oh, oh. Yes, no, we've got it. No, stick with his O. Oh, he's gonna go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's gonna be fishing. Be like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's My what you needed. That's what you. You were fishing in a snowstorm. You know, he goes, ah. Uh, uh, it's kind of it's uh, snowing out pretty hard here. I think I'm gonna go in and you reel the light in, and you're all like, "Yeah, it's time to you fishing on the side of a highway." 
<laughs> that was awesome. That's, That's where Mansfield is. That's on the highway. Ow. <laughs> you all right? That hurt my brain. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, should I leave you alone? No, I have the dogs. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was pretty funny. Great content. Was it really like ice? Was that really like like? Oh, shoot, was it really like that? that was like big, heavy sleet, almost real. Heavy yeah, sleet. it just randomly came. I I caught a walleye just uh, prior to that. Wow. But then it just dumped, and I was like, I'm still fishing. <laughs> you need to have one of those like um, little umbrella things, and like that'd be all. And, and you need some hand warmers. I need to get you some hand hand warmers. You know what I mean by those? Yeah, I use them when I go fishing, ice fishing. Then. Actually, it's uh, probably getting warmer out to where you don't need them. Yeah. You need to get a boat. That, that's where I go fishing over by. Um, it's a highway that runs through um, Lake Wisconsin. <laughs> You need to get a, you need to get a a, a, a a boat. Yeah, I got one, but just like everything else I love in life, it's inflatable too. <laughs> my <life>. Hey, <laughs> just like everything in life, it's inflatable too. <laughs> Oh, well, as usual, I'll make like a donut. I'm always around. <laughs> that was a dad joke. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you know the only difference between a bad joke and a dad joke is, right? What? One letter. You're not trying to spell this out in your mind, are you? Fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I am. Wait, what did she say? What? You got it. I didn't get it because I'm trying to pay attention. I have too many beers in me. What's going on? <laughs> dad okay. joke. What? D A D is how you spell bad. D A D is how you spell dad. One letter difference yeah. between the two. Did you yeah. figure it out? Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. <laughs> Second time. God damn it. You get the hell out of here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she making fun of me over there. She giggling up a storm. Hang on, sorry. I can hear you. Well, they can't. Okay, yeah, we're putting well, that part out. I got to grab another beer because this is taking. Oh, you can grab another. I can't. I got to go all the way through the whole house to get a beer. Yeah. So basically, we have live in a tiny shack. Okay. Okay. You know what? You own your place. You're in a one bedroom this studio. This is my place. You're in a one bedroom studio, bro. Yeah. So this is my desk. <laughs> this is my bed. That's my fridge over there. And there's your dining table. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's Matt's world. Matt's world shrunken. So, uh, no toilet, huh? Toilet's over there. I'm not showing you the toilet because it looks like death. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I just. And also, what do you think? You want to sign off on uh, the recording part of this video? Sure, we can. Let me know what you come up with, and I'll maybe if I need to jump on another call, I can switch T-shirts, and and then we can swap back. All right. So, anyways, I guess I'll do it for our uh, first attempted um, interview video. I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to call this uh, segment. I don't know if I'm going to call it. I don't know what washed up ashore. The <laughs> what washed up ashore? I yeah. like it. What washed up ashore over at Matt's World? I should probably put on a hat and fish and pole and waders. So, uh, once again, that will uh, do it for us today uh, here at awesome. uh, Matt's World. Um, once again, uh, don't forget to click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, like the Loons Club Productions page. Um, other than that, uh, I am Matt Gerloff signing off. I hope to see you out there. Okay, I think I think I stopped recording. Yep. Oh. Fuck me. <laughs> you alright? I was being normal. You're nervous? No, don't be nervous. It's your first one, it'll be fine. Oh, maybe. Oh, you're right, but fine. You know.
No, we really are. We really are a bunch of idiots. You'll be alright. Okay. Turn this off.